Hello everyone. Um, today in this video I wanted to share uh, some new configuration of Clipper for the uh, Bit3Tech uh, Manta M8P uh, board. So I have my configuration here that I'm working on um, in the past videos. Uh, I set up uh, my stepper driver uh, X, Y and Z and also the extruder. So today I wanted to share um, and show how to assign a specific driver to uh, to an axis, so to a stepper, for example. So on motor one, I will have the X axis, and I define a stepper X uh, by defining the pins, um, the and some other parameters um, and also if I'm going to be using sensorless homing I will need to edit a <coughs> bunch of these uh, parameters but I will do it uh, on another video so how do I assign to a stepper uh, motor a driver so in this case I define stepper X and if I go down uh, so these are the extruders uh, up here I define the drivers so I'm using the TMC5160 Pro drivers uh, these are drivers that uh, are um, uh, communicating via SPI and they support the sensorless homing and uh, I'm going to be using these drivers uh, for all the motors so how do I assign it? I define the TMC5160 and assign it to stepper X also <coughs> for this driver I have to define uh, the pins the CS pin and I have to uh, um, define the communication in this case the SPI so SPI1 for this the, for the Manta boards uh, other boards maybe are different although they don't use SPI for example too if the, if you don't use TMC5060 maybe you're going to use uh, the 2209 it will use WART communication so let me go to the um, the pins layout of the Manta M8P board from the manual and by the way uh, in the manual uh, came out an update version 1.1 uh, so there are some differences you can take a look so on this manual I have to look for M1 uh, motor and I have to go down all the way down and look for the CS pin in my case the CS pin for the M1 is PC10 so if I go back to my my definition here of the pin is PC10 so I, then I define the SPI bus SPI1 now these two the dia pin and the driver SGT are for sensorless homing so for now I'll comment it out and I'll do another video as I mentioned before then you can define uh, the run current to show it's the current that the motor uses to uh, move in this case I set it to 1.1 amps now I'm most likely going to be changing this because this driver supports higher current which means higher torque uh, also if you want to be using stop chop uh, or uh, spread cycle so by default if you don't define stop chop threshold so if you comment it out or you don't have it by default uh, clipper uses spread cycle now uh, spread cycle uh, is maybe a little bit uh, noisier uh, than uh, than style shop 
but he uses a uh, higher torque which is the one that I'm interested in also uh, interpolate uh, let me let me check it here I have I put a comment here interpolate is another option that that allows you to reduce the noise of the motors no, and just put comments so I know which uh, other option uh, do what they do there are a bunch of other options that you can select for the steppers and if you go to the clipper uh, website you can check it out to uh, uh, all of them for each driver they have uh, pages of uh, uh, information where you can select uh, uh, different options uh, you can select resistance and different current and so on so but the basics uh, the basic uh, option are this one you define the pin the communication uh, the current and then if you use spread cycle and the interpolation so this is the basic that I want to be using so if I'm going to the y, the y axis, I assign this driver and the CS pin. Again, I go back to the to the graph and the M2 is my uh, y axis and the pin is PF13. So if I go back to the configuration file, it's PF13. Let me check Y1. So my second Y motor three uh, is PF nine. Uh, let me go back here. PF nine. Uh, also for Z axis, it's motor four. And it's PD four. Let me go back to the configuration file and it's uh, PD4 for instead of for the two extruders it's PD0 for the first extruder extruder 0 and P, PF4 P, no PF8 so PD, PD, PD8 so M5 is PD0 and M8 is sorry on this but this PF8 so we all set on the pins let me go back to the configuration file and that's it so basically that's how you assign to a motor a driver and it's pretty straightforward uh, as I mentioned there are a bunch of other options that you can assign that you can select with these drivers and this depends from the particular driver that you're going to be using with your 3D printer. So in my case, I'm um, uh, using the 5160 Pro. Hopefully it's good, uh, has been useful this video. And um, next video I'll be uh, uh, defining uh, sensorless homing uh, and see which parameters and needs to be set and to be tested to use this function that uh, is interesting because with sensorless homing you avoid to use end stop uh, switches or buttons which means less uh, wiring to do or less devices that you need to install on your uh, 3d printer uh, so hopefully uh, the video uh, was uh, good for you please leave a like uh, share the video and subscribe to the channel uh, it will help uh, a lot and i'll see you on next video bye bye